All right, guys, this is my 2011 Chevrolet uh, front DIY bumper assembly video. Um, this is the bumper. Obviously, I have these pieces off of it right now, but this is what it looks like completed. So I'm just going to go over how to build this. Um, when you get the bumper file, there will be a PDF with the part information. These part numbers correspond with these part numbers. And it'll tell you how many to cut out and also the thickness of material you're going to want to use. Um, I will include a exploded drawing like this one and uh, that's pretty much it for that. When you start out you'll have your uh, main assembly is what you're going to make first here. So this is uh, going to be the piece called 23 This will all be one solid piece like this when you get it. And it will have cut lines along this these bends bend lines and you'll use the cut lines to basically hand bend this part. And you're going to want to hand bend it. And then use this part, which is called part 22. Um, it goes in there and acts as like a kind of structural um, gusset for the D ring. So that's just going to go in. You're going to want to put this in before you bend up this bottom part. And it also keys into this keyway here. So you put that in on both sides. It's keyed in. You're going to put it in on a 90. And you can weld this <clears throat> assembly right here. Weld this piece in. But don't weld all the way to the front because the face has to set on this. Um, so you got those in on both sides. The next thing you're going to do is you can put this guy in. It's uh, part 13. Just drops into the holes right here. Um, tack that in. And we can start putting our front piece together. So this is the next piece we're going to do. Uh, this is part number 14. It's going to be the same idea as your last part. There will be a some cut lines along this edge that you can use to hand bend this part. And this part follows this angle created right here. And um, you can also use this angle, the angle of part 13, to get it even closer and it has these keyways on it the uh, next piece is part number 16 and part 15 so part 15 goes in it will help you find more angles here but part 15 slot and keys into there and this piece and you just uh, take your part 16 just set it on there line it up tack this in and you can then put on your top the top part just sets right on top 
falls over these slot and key designs again. And the next step will be your sides. So the sides, you're going to start with this part, part number five and four and six. These pieces ride along this edge created by the main brace. Follow this down. So they will fall into place and follow this angle here. So once you have these in, <clears throat> you can also build in these uh, two grill edge wraparounds. That would be part 10 and 11. Um, part 11 is going to be the one closer to the bumper. And then off of that, you can put in part 7. It's the top boomerang kind of shape part. And then you can also start to build in your side. So you'll put uh, part one, two, and three in off of this shape. And you just rinse and repeat that process for the other side of the bumper. And then you can put your cube light mount in, which is just goes off of this little bracket. The bottom bracket is eight, the top is nine. They just go into place like that. Um, it slot and keys in right there, and then this one slot and keys in on the top right here. Um, so you're going to get to this point. You'll have the both sides done. You can put your D-rings in now. They just go into this hole. And you put them in, uh, weld them all around this, sneak your welder in through here, weld them in the back. And uh, the only thing that leaves now is the, um, the actual mount assembly. So the mounts are delete these holes here. So the mounts are just the parts 19. These are 19, these blue pieces. 18 is this bottom. And 21 is the front. They will key in to part 21 like that. You'll see these four holes. Just falls onto there. This piece fills the bottom angle. And uh, you can tack these up. These are like a mirror opposite each other. So you're going to assemble it so one has the 1.65 length on it this on this inside the other one's the same 1.65 on the inside so that the tighter inside holes like the tighter holes are both on the inside edge and the the larger gap is facing outwards um, these are mount br brackets you're going to weld a nut half inch coarse thread 
grade 8 nut to the inside of these brackets, so on this side and this side, these will go inside your frame, the beige brackets, and you can use this little tab to locate them and you can put a bolt in through the outside of the frame through the tow hook side holes and the bottom um, bracket here the bottom bracket is going to be this piece which is the same bracket that's going to be used for these other holes but it's like a just a tab you're just gonna you're gonna need um, 10 of these tabs total with bolts welded to them. You're going to weld a hex head, grade 8, coarse thread bolt about an inch and a half long. And with your bolt welded to this, you don't need to use a wrench to get to the other side of it, right? So this tab with the bolt welded to it will drop through this bottom hole. Like it'll go inside the frame, drop down the threads through the hole. The, the threads will be sticking out the bottom of the frame. Then you can get your nut and washer on the bottom of that bolt and secure this blue bracket to the to the actual frame of your truck and then for these front holes these you're just going to use these for for those as well you just put them in through these holes fish them in through these holes and boom just put them in through there then your threads will stick out through here and you can get your nut on from the outside. So these beige brackets you weld nuts to, but these lo these little brackets you're going to actually weld the bolt itself to these. And you're going to need 10 of these, these gray ones and 4 of these beige ones. So that's how these bumpers mount to the truck. You just put these brackets over the front of the frame rail where the tow hook used to be and they mount to the tow hook holes. There is quite a bit of adjustment in these verticals side to side in and out. You should be able to get a pretty pretty good fitment with that setup. So otherwise um, that's it for this one. Uh, definitely send me some pictures uh, when you get it done. Thank you.